AITA for snapping at my friend who keeps stitching me because I now have a child. Just over two years ago, I, F29, unexpectedly got pregnant and now have a beautiful 18-month-old daughter. Sierra, over that time my friend's circle got considerably smaller but my best friend remain. Mia, F31. Mia doesn't have kids nor wants kids but she's been brilliant with Sierra. I'm a SOM and obviously don't have as much time to hang out as I did previously. Mia and I live on the same street. We're in Manchester, England, and it's a walking distance between our houses. I've told Mia numerous times that she can just pop in whenever she wants to. She works from home, but she rarely does. She did at the beginning but it's been happening less and less. Instead, she keeps suggesting we go out for coffee or pizza or even a drink but I don't have the time in. Always just tell her to come over and we'll have coffee at my place. She asked if I wanted to go out with her and her other friends for a drink last weekend but I said. That no but she's welcome to come over and we'll have a few drinks at mine. She said she already had plans and it felt weird to drink when she knows there's a child around. Honestly, I feel neglected. I feel like she put me on a back burner and doesn't want to be friends anymore. I'm always available but she rarely comes over and I don't think that's fair. Today, I saw her photos from Saturday night out and I was fuming. She ditched me just so she could go and drink like she's 20 again. I felt rejected and horrible. I thought we were best friends but she clearly doesn't value me when she won't even have a few drinks with me at my house. When she finished work, she called and asked if I fancied going for coffee to town but I asked her to come over again. She said yes but before she disconnected. I heard her mumble, like always. This really annoyed me. When she came over, I decided to be open about everything. And while not my proudest or most mature moment, I shouted at her that she's an awful friend M. That she barely comes over and if she doesn't want to spend time with me to just say it and stop playing around. She said she's always been accommodating but it's been two years and she doesn't want to spend time with me when there's always a kid, especially now when she has to watch her language. Mia likes to swear. I said that she knew I had a child and responsibilities. And she said that Tom, my partner, could take care of Sierra once in a while so I could have a time off. This felt really intrusive and I told her to mind her own business and not meddle on my marriage. I was really angry with her and kicked her out. She called me a selfish asshole on her way out. Normally, I would expect her to call by now with apologies but she hasn't done so and I'm starting to wonder. Was I the asshole or was she? Perhaps I was too harsh and should have been more careful with discussing it. YTA she didn't ditch you on Saturday. She invited you to come with her and her other friends. Meaning she had already committed to going out with other people. If she had come to yours for drinks, she would have been ditching her other friends. YTA, also that not to meddle in your marriage, what are you on? He's a parent who can. Yeah no parent. It is not healthy to never socialize without your child. It's good for both of you. Edit typo. YTA. You refuse to do anything outside the home. She asks you constantly. You're evidently working on being a helicopter mom. At some point you need to leave the home and do something without your child. It's better for both of you. And you ditched her, not the other way around. YTA. She's trying to stay engaged in your life. But you only want it 100% on your terms she's not wrong for wanting to go out and have adult. Evenings out. Hire a sitter or ask your husband to take over for the night and join her. You were rude and out of line with her. YTA. When you have a child, they are the most important person to you. But, that doesn't mean that they are the most important person to everyone else. You're a SOM. That's your choice. 
And it sounds like Mia has tried really hard to be accommodating. But for Christ's sakes. It's been two years of her doing things your way. She didn't ghost you or be rude. She suggested having your husband. The father. Watch your child so you can hang out and you yell at her and accuse her of meddling in your marriage? Girl, there's a lot of issues in your marriage in that statement alone that you're not posting on here. Don't blame her for finally having enough and calling you an asshole cause you are acting like one. Don't expect her to apologize cause you don't deserve one. You want to keep this friendship. You talk to a therapist cause you've got some issues. And when you are mature enough to have an adult conversation, call Mia and apologize. Info. Why can't Tom take care of Sierra once in a while so you can have time off? You've made your entire friendship with Mia be about your kid and completely failed to acknowledge her poverty emotional needs. This is on you for neglecting the friendship which requires time without a toddler around. YTA. YTA. This felt really intrusive. Why? Because you don't have an answer for why your husband can't watch his own kid so you can have the occasional girls night out that doesn't make him look bad. If you really, truly do not want to do anything involving Mia that doesn't also involve Sierra, or that requires you to put any effort into going places. So be it, but you really can't be surprised that's not going to work for her remotely as often as you're trying to push it and maybe if you met her halfway a bit more often, she'd be willing to do the same for you. Assuming you can still salvage this. That is. I can assure you that people in their 30s and 40s also sometimes drink like they're 20. Other than that, the others all said it well. YTA. Yes YTA. Your friend is not obligated to be around kids just because you had a child. It's not like she ignored you. She invited you out multiple times. Your entitlement that she should always hang out at your house around your kid is wrong. Also, yes, she can go out and drink like she's in her 20s again. Maybe you should try that sometime too. Instead of insisting to drink around a small child which majority of the people are not comfortable with. YTA. I say this as a mom. It's perfectly okay to leave your child with your partner to go hang out with friends occasionally. You don't have to make martyred motherhood your entire personality. It's pretty selfish to think she should always have to accommodate you and your inability to have a life outside of being a mom. The reality is you had a baby and now think your friends should cater to you without you making any effort. Friendships don't work that way. YTA. I say this as a mother who has lost friends because I have a child. But people who don't want children, even if they are good around them, don't want to be around them all the time. She clearly does want to be friends with you. But that's the problem. She wants to be friends with you, not your child. Also, as someone who also works from home, it's important to be able to actually go out from time to time and going to someone else's house doesn't always feel like actually going out. She ditched me just so she could go and drink like she's 20 again. This sounds like a little bit of jealousy, which I can respect. Having kids completely changes your life. She doesn't have kids though, or many other responsibilities it sounds like. So why can't she do these things? It sounds like you are both just on different paths now, which happens, to be honest. Asking if your partner could watch your kid doesn't seem like an intrusive comment. But your reaction potentially makes it seem like there are some issues in your relationship. Why does she have to come over all the time? Why can't your partner watch his daughter as well? Do you just not want to go out? It seems like you were projecting a lot of feelings onto Mia about some of your frustrations. Maybe you do need to get out more. YTA. You have a kid. Mia does not have a kid. If Mia wants to go out and get drunk on a Saturday night, she has all the freedom in the world to do that. 
That's the benefit of not having kids. Your kid means your entire social life how you spend your time. Who with? And what you talk about has changed. Mia's has not. She didn't have this kid with you. I have a three yo and I still cannot give my friends my full attention when they talk with my son nearby. We can't have focused, free-flowing conversations because they are constantly interrupted. And the conversation one way or another always comes back around to the kid. And Mia your best friend deserves to occasionally get your full and undivided attention. Don't you think? She deserves to go to coffee shops, bars, restaurants with her best friend like she did Presiara. Not all the time, but sometimes. If you can't find a way to do that for her, to show her that her needs matter, she'll simply find someone else who can. YTA Tom is possibly also ta your friend is not. She said she's always been accommodating but it's been two years and she doesn't want to spend time with me when there's always a kid. Yep, nothing wrong with that. You're a two-year broken record of sitting at home with a cup of tea. She's done with that. She wants to go to a cafe or dinner with you. She's been asking you non-stop for a year at this point. Right? And she said that Tom, my partner, could take care of Sierra once in a while so I could have a time off. This felt really intrusive. And I told her to mind her own business and not meddle on my marriage. I was really angry with her. And kicked her out. Boom. She barely scratched the surface of the real problem and you exploded. Info. Does Tom watch the child while you go out of the home to do your shopping or your haircut or other? Trips from the home? YTA. It's clear you aren't putting any effort into your friendship with Mia. You complain she is neglecting you. But what effort have you made to accommodate her? None. You expect her to come to your house and will only see her if she comes to your house. You expect her to be the first to reach out to apologize after a conflict. You see her has interfering when she makes a completely normal suggestion that your county parent take a shift alone with your kid so you can spend one evening being an adult without kid in tow. Heck, you won't even tow the kid to a cafe. YTA It'd be one thing if every once in a while you asked her to go to your place because of your child. Even up to like half the time that's a perfectly reasonable accommodation. But if every time you've hung out for two years it has to be at your house with your child I can. Totally understand why she's fed up with that. She wants to go out and do stuff. She wants to spend time with you child free. Saying, if you don't want to spend time with me just tell me, is immature and manipulative. It's very clear that she wants to spend time with you. She doesn't want to spend time with your child. And if you're not a single mom it's even more ridiculous of an ask because there is another parent. Who is perfectly capable of watching the child for a few hours. It's not like you're on your own and have to arrange childcare. YTA. She didn't ditch you. She asked you to go out with her friends as she'd made plans. She's not drinking like she's 20. She's drinking like someone who doesn't have a child. P.S. She's right. Your partner can look after your daughter once in a while. And should do. To try and bond with her. Normally, I would expect her to call by now with apologies why would she apologize? YTA. It sounds like Mia has made a genuine effort to include you. To invite you to do things. And to be your friend. However, you refuse to do so unless it's on your terms at your home. She's absolutely right that your husband can watch your child for a few hours while you go out for coffee or dinner. Your refusal to even consider asking him do so, however, means that you will continue to miss out on things. This isn't Mia being a bad friend. This is you being unwilling to compromise. Edit. Spelling. YTA what's she supposed to do? Put her entire life on hold so she can cater to your neediness? Get real. 
If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.